Welcome Aquarius to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition bring messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to you all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right. So as I'm doing this, it is one, one, one. So let's see here. Okay. So let's see spirit. What can you reveal to me about the person that is connected to Aqua's in love? Who is the person that Aqua is connected to in love? What is the truth? Please bring me clear messages in regards to the person that Aqua is connected to in love. What do we need to know about the person connected to Aqua's in love? Whoever you're dealing with, um, they don't want to talk and they're very stubborn with their energy. They don't want to let you know. <laughs> Spirit, is there anything else? Okay. Yeah. So overall, I see here neglect or abandonment. Okay. Also, we have people pleasing. Avidya, ig ignorance. Deceit and lies. Yeah, no wonder why they don't want to say anything. And we have options. Wow. Okay. So, Aqua, uh, at this time, I have a feeling that your person has uh, neglected you or abandoned you. And they're just acting ignorant. Okay. They're lying because they had options. You know, they're a people pleaser. Now, I can see how this person may come off as conceited, acting as if, you know, they need more than one person in their life. Um, you know, so this may not be for everyone, but that's what I'm getting. You know, your person, um, they have a hard time with settling. Okay. They're on the fence about it. That's what I'm getting with that. And for some, they're a husband. Okay. Maybe they're married, you know, and not only that they have a karmic situation, Maybe they're people pleasing the karmic, okay, and they abandoned or neglected you to go back towards a wife or, you know, a husband. Take as it resonates. That's what I'm seeing so far. Let me go ahead and clarify these energies. Now, I did this for my Libras. Woo, hello. Focus. <laughs> I don't know. You know, the messages that are coming out for my air signs. Y'all got all kinds of stuff going on. It's kind of scrambled. It's kind of strange. I don't know. It's like the air sign readings are coming in strange today. It's got, it's a lot of drama that's going on. Please clarify, spirit. The energies of this person. Why does this person have options? Why are they lying? Why are they playing ignorant? Okay. You know, when they're people pleasing. You know, as if, you know. I really think, Aqua, you already knew this. <laughs> Spirit, is there anything else that you can feel to me about this person that's connected to Aqua's in love? Okay, <clears throat> so they haven't surrendered, okay? Um, also, what I'm seeing is Crossroads, Muse, Pause, and Union. Okay, so if you feel that this is for a Twin Flame uh, connection, okay? Your person is looking at their options. 
um, and right now there's a pause between the two of you. Why? It's because they've been lying. Okay. Point blank period. There's no way to sugarcoat this. You know, they did lie to you about a situation and, um, right now, uh, they're not really, uh, feeling very creative. They're feigning ignorance. Okay. Um, that they're at a crossroads of, you know, going in a specific direction. And what I'm seeing is that they rather people please, okay. And abandon you because they haven't left that lifestyle or that way of being. So I have a feeling that they're dealing with a karmic situation. There's a karmic lesson that still needs to be learned. Um, you just, you know, they just need time. That's what I'm feeling. So let's go ahead and get into the tarot and see what's going on. Spirit, please provide clear messages in regards to this person that is connected. Two aquas in love. How are they currently thinking of you? How do they feel? Wow. What do they want? And what is the outcome? Very clear messages in regards to this person connected to Aqua. Thank you. All right. So we have the Hermit and it's reversed. For some, maybe you're dealing with the Virgo. But what I'm getting here is that, you know, um, they want to get out of the separation with you. Okay. Yeah. They neglected you. They abandoned you. And um, they needed time to really reflect. Okay. That they want to come back. Now, you know, it's like they're at a crossroads and they're people pleasing. When they come back, they're going to play ignorant. Okay. I'm just going to have to put it out there. They're lying to you. You know, um, they just needed, uh, some time to really think about their options, you know, but I really feel like they want to have union with you, but it's like they were on the fence about this because if they were for sure, they would have stuck, you know, stuck it out with you, right? They wouldn't go back and forth between you and other people. Um, this person still needs to surrender. Okay. I'm just going to have to like, you know, give you a warning. So if this person comes back, you know, just you know, just like accept whatever and actions speak everything, right? Now I see here, they can't, uh, well, this is the Knight of Cups. And so, you know, they're going to come in moody. They're not going to be open with their feelings. Okay. And, um, it could be because they're stuck in a third party situation. That's why they're not investing into this uh, connection at this time. Exactly. With the lovers in reverse, you know, they're just not in alignment for a relationship and they pump their brakes so they everything is at a standstill and what i'm saying is that now okay they want to open up now i don't know what the heck is going on. i really feel like it's been two months um for my aquas you know since you guys have been together and during that time um they kind of loved the situation there was no closure you didn't really hear from them and uh what i'm seeing is that yeah we have the emperor in reverse so if this is a twin and this is your divine masculine they just bounced okay they didn't even fight for the situation they just let it go okay and they acted really cold towards you you didn't hear from them and um yeah, they cut you out with the Queen of Wands in reverse. So uh, the other thing I'm also getting is because of a karmic. So if your person was married or in another commitment, okay, they were lying to the karmic and they were lying to you. So they weren't being honest on both sides. I'm just going to have to put it out there. Okay. Why? It's because your person likes to people please. They like to please the karmic. They like to please you. You know, it's because, you know, maybe... Um, you know what I'm getting is, the, you know, their inner child. Maybe when they were younger, uh, they felt like they were neglected. You know, that's why there's neglect and abandonment, right? So this two times confirmed, you know, the reasons why your person is acting like this, 
okay so whoever the karmic is okay this karmic has expectations on how your person performs okay so they're a little whipped okay and you know maybe uh they feel like you know they have to make everyone happy and i see that you know they have nothing to say to you you know how could they apologize for for how they treated the, the connection towards you and i see here the moon okay you could be done with a water sign pisces could be cancerian energy but what i'm getting here is that uh your person is really tapping into their emotions and possibly their intuition and they're trying to uh, figure out how they feel and they know that they need to close out cycles here okay uh they feel like they're, they're just not good enough maybe this person uh, has been in this energy for the past five years okay and that's for some and what i'm getting is that they keep thinking about the past okay they were never happy it really feels that your person they never feel like they were good enough that's why you know they abandoned you This person has abandonment issues. I'm just going to have to to call them out. Okay, I know it's going to be hurtful for your person, but the reason why they left you is because they've been abandoned and um for whatever reason if there's a karmic, okay, they have a problem with abandoning that karmic for whatever reasons and if it's because of kids, that's possibly why. Okay? Also, this person has a guilty conscience because um because of the neglect that they had as a child they feel like they're neglecting um the karmic but i have a, a feeling that they've manifested a karmic partner that feeds off of that energy okay and so no matter which way this person goes okay they are actually i don't know they feel like th they don't know what to do okay they feel like they've done the best that they could but they could actually do better because they're not seeing something about themselves. That's why they haven't uh, completely surrendered to uh, their inner child wounding. You know, for some, maybe you're doing with the fire sign and they're holding themselves back from working on this situation because of a third party. You know, and look, here is your energy, okay? So if you're a twin flame and you're a divine feminine watching this, okay, they're tapping into your connection here and they've made a choice that um, they want to work on their sense of stability, okay? They want to ground themselves with this king of pentacles, okay? Your person really wants to offer you a, a potential in a relationship, but this might be three years, okay? I'm not going to lie. This is not going to come soon. You know, for some, if it's already been a couple of years, okay, everyone's timing is going to be a little bit different. Uh, what I'm seeing here is that they, they've held on to so much of the burdens of the karmic relationship. And now, you know, they're in two minds about that uh, situation and they know that they need to let it go. You know, they're hurt. They want to heal and they're starting to see okay that they don't know what the future holds again your person's not clear to be honest your person needs to meditate because i'm getting frustrated like we have here the king of swords in reverse they're not talking to you you know and it's because they need to heal now in regards to that okay okay sure um that's good you know and they really see that you are their queen of cups okay so they love you okay they have affection towards you and what i'm seeing is that they know that they can't offer you what you're looking for because why i mean they're they're people pleasing everybody else like do they have enough energy for you and you might get pissed off aqua i can feel this let's see what else all right so they're thinking okay there's some sort of karma that they need to resolve it's not over yet okay and um they want to make some kind of a small offer at least this is what they're thinking um that this is this is what it feels like i think that they want to communicate to you that they're ending or putting closure towards a karmic situation but they haven't completely surrendered yet okay so it's like what's the use of this person coming to talk to you when you've already known this from before right they're looking at their options and they haven't been completely honest you know this person has childhood wounding and they need to resolve that okay they're feigning ignorance you know 
they're acting childish. That's what it feels like. So how do they feel? You know, they really, they really want to have like a fresh new start. They want to reset. Okay. They're trying to get out of their head. They know whatever is in the past is in the past. They want to get over that energy uh, of not being able to come forward towards you. Okay. Now, what do they want? Yeah, so they're grieving. Um, you know, they went from the five to the ten of cups here. This is what they want. They want ten of cups with you because you emotionally secure them. Okay, this this is about feeling secure. Now, there's different types of attachment styles when it comes to love, and I really feel like they need secure attachment. Um, you know, with you. Okay, just as long as you offer them security, then um, your person feels more comfortable to be open with you. But because of um, their insecurities dealing with their childhood wounding, they feel like, um, you know, they can't abandon a, a past issue that they're dealing with right now. That's why your person is on the fence, right? Now, I see that they're in their head about this. Again, when it comes to their thinking, I mean, they, they just mess up. <laughs> you need to tell your person to stop thinking so dang much. <laughs> hey, they, they need to leave the thinking to you, right? Um, you know, because you know that if you're going to be open up and be emotionally available towards your person and that's what they're looking for, then why are they still stuck on this past energy? You know, the problem is, is that they need to heal that, right? I definitely do uh, feel that coming through in this channeling. So what is the outcome? We have the magician, the king of wands in reverse and the king of swords in the upright position. So your person is trying to manifest some sort of change. Okay. Instead of being a jerk or, you know, you know, being uh, shrewd. Okay. They want to come and communicate their truth towards you. Now, the truth may be a little bit cold. I'm not going to lie. Um, I also see that um, they're starting to see that they need to hold back because they're feeling stuck. They're trying to free themselves from this karmic. That's what it seems like. Yeah, they, they've been juggling. They've been in two different situations like two different locations or two different areas and um right now i feel like when it comes to a home or living expenses um they're not feeling very secure there could be extra expenditures and so um i really feel like for you aqua this person okay i know that for somebody this is like a twin flame connection i've been picking up on this all day long okay where a twin flame comes through but there's karmic energy that they're still dealing with okay and i'm not gonna lie i don't think it's gonna be anytime soon hopefully it will be okay but i see that they're actually real time working on it right now Okay, they still have some karma that they need to clear. So let's see, uh, what message wants to come through spirit from your person towards uh, Aqua at this time? What is the message they want to come through? Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. You know, it's their childhood wounding. I already got the answer for them. All right, because Scorpio Moon already tapped into that. Next, now play. <laughs> Let's see what else. Your person um, really needs to heal their inner child. It's very clear in this channeling, okay? So what is the hidden truth? It could be uh, because their karmic partner is also childish and, you know, hey, like attracts like, right? And I really feel like, you know, maybe your words might be hurtful towards them. Aqua, I don't know. I just have that feeling, right? Maybe uh, your words hurt them in the past and the truth hurts, you know, and they're still dealing with it. I, I definitely am picking up on that energy and it's very clear for today. 
we both know I'm not the one for you. Here we go. Like feeling like they're not good enough. Self-worth issues. We need to let each other go. Like what a, you know, I, um, yeah, let them go, you know, and they love you unconditionally. Your person, okay, if you guys love each other unconditionally, let them go because once they clear out this karma, then when they come back, then they'll be ready. I'm not getting a timing because everyone's situation is different, but this is what I'm seeing uh, for today. So let's get some guidance. Spirit, what is the guidance message that you have for Aquas at this time? What is the guidance? Okay, it's unlikely uh, that they're going through recovery. That's why your person hasn't surrendered yet. There, there's definitely a blockage with your union towards this person. Okay. Also, we have forgiveness. Don't stop. Okay. So spirit is saying, Aqua, don't stop loving this person. I mean, I know you also love this person uh, unconditionally, also, but don't stop and also forgive them. Forgive them for their ignorance. Okay. For them not knowing um, that you love them okay and you love them even though that they ran and you know in a different direction it could be back towards the karmic and what i'm seeing is that they need to surrender they haven't they haven't reached that yet that's what i have so i really hope that this was helpful let me know thank you for watching and if you'd like to book a personal reading with me you could visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com you can also follow me under ig as scorpio moon intuition i hope you all have a lovely day and i will see you next time Bye bye